Megan, talk about the two-day event, uh, some pretty good teams, pretty good competition. From your standpoint, how do you think you personally did? And as a team, how did you guys do this weekend? Um, I think personally it was like really challenging, but um, I did slightly better the second day. So I'm overall pretty happy with how I did. And I know the team, some people weren't super happy with how they did. But overall, I think it all added up to something good, and everybody feels good. So, all right, talk about the course. I know that some were a little bit unhappy with the greens, thought they may be a little bit fast, and some maybe pin placement they weren't happy with. Was the course as tough as they said it was? Um, I think it was definitely tougher than usual. Like, it's typically not as hard during practice. So I did notice a difference. I think a lot of people did. People were not very happy, but um, I mean, I guess it happens. Yeah. What What do you then mentally try to prepare yourself for when you went through a day one and knowing you're coming back in day two and it can be equally as tough? How do you prepare yourself mentally? Oh gosh, I don't, I think it was really just like thinking through every shot and thinking about what I did the day before and then trying to learn from that. So, I mean, they were even slightly different from day to day, but it really did help to go like back through it and focus on all the shots. You know, coach says sometimes thinking too much is probably not a great thing. Is yeah. that something hard to overcome? Um, I think that's definitely hard to overcome because I overthink everything all the time and he yells at me for it a lot, so yeah. How have you, let's talk about you individual, have you matured from the time that the season started till now and how have you seen your game get better? Um, I think I definitely have matured because I have been playing basically every day and just having like a schedule and like rhythm. I think I just really matured into a more consistent player and I feel a lot better in my clubs and myself. You know, that's what Coach talks about, too, is the consistency. But yeah. that's not an easy thing to do in golf, is no. it? No, it's not easy at all. Yeah. yeah. But it's back to that mental thing, too, that you got to prepare yourself and not get too up, not get too down. Uh, but for me, that's never an easy thing to do. I can imagine it's not easy for you either, huh? No, it's not easy at all. It's completely a mental thing, and I think that's the toughest thing about golf. So. All right, talk about what's coming up here in the near future, and you guys go get back out here and get ready for the next uh, big event coming up. Mm -hmm. What's the one thing that you got to work on the most, or maybe one or two things that make you a better golfer? Um, I think I definitely do need to focus on like the mental side, and like when something goes wrong, just throwing that away and focusing on what's ahead of me. And oh, I, my chipping is not good right now. Yeah, I got to ask you too. You know, being a student, being a student athlete is not an easy thing because you got to put a lot of time into the classroom. You got to put a lot of time into the game of golf. How do you balance that to make sure that you're getting equal balance on both sides? Um, I think it has a lot to do with time management and just knowing how to manage your time and what really needs to be done, like at what second, and like just having a schedule. And everything is that, has that been tough to do um yeah i think it's definitely tough to do especially as a freshman because everything's new so you're kind of struggling with everything all at once but yeah because there's days you just want to say you know what i don't want to play golf and i don't want to do anything but you almost have to force yourself right oh yeah definitely definitely are you enjoying your experience thus far no i'm totally enjoying it i'm so happy i did it so it's paid off